Hi, it's Victoria Laurent Fabish, holistic psychotherapist. Today I want to talk about all of you brave souls coping with change and the stress that create is created by the actual uh, event of change. So, so many people will avoid change in order to not experience any kind of anxiety or stress, but the problem with that is that often people will express, certainly in my office, a deep dissatisfaction in their lives because they have not um, gone and changed the various things that they need to change in their lives. And so they stagnate and stagnate, they stay in relationships that are you know, way overdue, not at all working for them, or they stay in jobs that are not satisfying, or they stay in situations that are less than good for them. In fact, they're starting to really be harmful toward them, but they say, I would rather stay in this, you know, very, very clearly harmful, emotionally harmful situation, sometimes physically harmful situation, rather than risk change. And I see it so often as the source of profound, profound unhappiness. And I hear you. I mean, I'm a human being and I understand that change creates immense amounts of stress. In fact, some of the forefathers of my profession would agree that some of the biggest reasons for stress is change and people just avoid it. But what I find to be a key way that people can cope with change and go through change well is to employ a very spiritual, a simple spiritual principle of being in the moment. Because a lot of what the mind does is, what if this happens? And what if that happens? And what if I fail? And what if uh, I'm uncomfortable? And what if I'm in pain? And what if I'm low? What if? And the what ifs are simply, they are the paralyzers. They keep you from doing what it is that your soul is, cr is craving. Because clearly, dissatisfaction is the mother of change and it is the thing that motivates people to change. But people numb out that dissatisfaction with drugs or with just not being present. And essentially they keep staying in situations that don't work for them. And what ends up happening is they're not happy in their lives and they don't necessarily are, they're not conscious of why. Being present and in the moment, staying focused on the now, one step in front of the other, tracking your thoughts so that you don't let those thoughts get out of control, allowing yourself to take a small change, hold, assess, continue to make the next change, hold, assess, and you'll find you're going to get to the other side very, very, very healthily, emotionally together if you do it in a very uh, clear, calm, and present moment oriented way. And I always recommend affirmations, meditation, deep breathing, so that you do serve your soul and go toward your life purpose, which inevitably is going to be uh, needing change in order for you to accomplish that. So as usual, I'm asking for your questions and comments and good luck with all the changes that are happening in your life because I'm telling you, right now I do believe people are ready the planets seem to be aligned where people are ready for change. All right. Email me at askvictoria at rogers.com. Happy changes.